Many people in the Catholic Church know of priests and religious who are committed to several apostolates that include parishes, hospitals, schools, but there is usually a group that is left out, a group of men and women committed to life in the monastery, monastic life where they spend time praying, working and living as a community. So today we have decided to leave the hustle and bustle of Harare to come to Macheke to understand life of Benedictine monks who live in this particular monastery of Christ the Word. And to help us understand their lifestyle and their spirituality is Father Barnabas, who is going to take us through how they live inside here. And also we are going to participate in a number of activities that they do every day, including prayers and meals. So let's get in and have an experience of monastic life. So as I said, uh, one of the activities, the main activities of this place is prayer. And they have seven times a day that they pray in this particular chapel. They pray as a community. So we are going to join them to get in there. But before we get in, they should ring the bell to call us to prayer. That's what they do every day. So let's get in. So this is the bell that I was talking about that they are going to ring to call us to prayer. And since they have prayer sessions seven times a day, this bell is rung seven times a day. And to ring this bell, they use this particular stick of some sort to ring it. And very, very soon they are going to be ringing it to call us to prayer. This is the area you see, that's the guest house. Or oh, um, this side. Where people stay. At the moment, there's one Franciscan staying in the single down there. Okay. But yeah. also, that is the, the candidate and, 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 and porcelain house. Okay. It's carved by um, one of the local chefs from the south. Oh. Yeah. Oh, so people can come and sit and. Yes. Oh, that's good. That's good. So you, we call it the mother of the world. <laughs> or the mother of the world. Yeah. There are so many monkeys here. Oh, really? Okay, so I mean, I could have planted maize there and get some maize every year. Mm. But but you can't. I, I got an area where I plant some maize and I covered it with the net. The monkey tore the net <laughs> <laughs> and went in. Oh, okay. So, so it's, it's, it's difficult to grow anything here. Yeah. Especially the thing that the monkeys like. Mm. The garden here is, um, the, it takes up a, a lot of my time because um, we grow all of the food here that we actually need. We never have to buy any vegetable. <laughs> oh, okay. um, right through the year, um, some of the, um, the vegetable may be a little bit sort of bored, but then we got more variety than most people. Mm -hmm. Okay, and, and so, the, um, and also the same with the animals. We got quite a number of variety of meat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. Um, and yeah, we, um, we we breed them from the and, and hatch them, and then and then bring them up, okay. and then eventually 
um, slaughter them for food. Mm -hmm. I saw a guy who was in the garden when we came. Is he part of your community or? No, those are the the the, 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 the three guys who are staying here for the, the the aspirants. Oh, okay. Yes, they 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 came last Sunday and they will be leaving this coming Sunday. So they spend the whole week here. Okay. Just to 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 be with us and see yes, um, yes. Um, yeah, very much. how how we live. And to feed the animal and take me about 10, 15 minutes. Is it? Yes. All those. Yeah, all of those. It's only the longest one that needs to be care of is, is the, the, the sheep and the goat. Okay. Which um, um, Brother Blasted take them outside for two hours every day in the afternoon oh, okay. to spend time with them and then bring them back. Oh. But the other animals, uh, it doesn't take that, that much time to feed them and just look and see whether anyone is, is sick or hatching mm. or whatever. Yeah, I was also saying, I think. For me, it would be very difficult for me to kill a, a rabbit. slaughter a rabbit. Really? No, they look nice. I know, okay. I know. Yeah. <laughs> they, they are so cute. Yes. I know, but so sometimes when, when you need to eat, you have to overcome. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. And all oh, their turkeys over there. The turkeys are out there. And, um, uh, so this is the season for them to, 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 to do a lot of, of breeding. They started to lay eggs around now. Okay. And then, um, you see, a turkey and geese are the two varieties that we have. They only breed about once a year. Mm -hmm. They stay egg about now. They finish around October, November. And then, and then, and then they will just stop. And unlike chicken and duck, if you give them enough food, mm. they won't produce it. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. true. And also the rabbit, they won't produce it right through the year, if, if you want them to. Okay. Just shall be seen. I know the, the, the jet like human when they are very small, they're very cute. This one is a bit bigger than that. Yeah, that's the previous group. Oh. Uh, the, the previous children, the, the others are in here, but this this one, it got injured the other day. It got the leg through the, the thing here. So I have to put it back in here to recover a little bit, and then I have to go and join the other big one. Oh. <laughs> it was the same group, this one here. Oh. But like humans, you see, they eat the same stuff, but some bigger than others. How many do you have of these? Um, <laughs> I actually, that should be very difficult. I forgot to count. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they are both sheep and goat. O originally, the sheep are meant to be on the load to cut the grass. But actually, after a, a, a few days, they forget about the grass, they just cut the flowers. <laughs> Oh, oh, they also get the flowers. Yeah, they eat all of the They are very, very much friends, yes. So it's almost like chapter 25 of Matthew. It's a Matthew Gospel, yeah. the last the last judgment, the sheep and the goat. Yes, <laughs> in this case, they are living together. <laughs> <In> this... <laughs> yeah, but the, the sheep are doing better. The, the goat for in, from, from in the last, last year or two, they're not doing very well in terms of breeding. I don't understand why, but oh, okay. but the sheep are, are breeding a lot, a lot better. Oh, look at that one, it's eating wow. up my, my lemon. <laughs> Billy the goat. <laughs> All, all of them, they, 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 all of this area were completely bare, e except for the for the trees that that are not fruit trees. Yes. Yeah, but but um, all, all all of the fruit tree, from bananas to avocados, whatever, I I, I planted them. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And the Mlora tree, where where is it? Here, let me show you. <laughs> the original one is just there. Can you see it? It's next to the oh, avocado tree, that's the dead, that, that the dead tree, but next to it, yeah. that's the original tree that I got the seed from. Ah. But, but now I planted them there, just on the other side of the fence, you can see the light of them there. Oh, yes. Oh. And also now on that side, I planted quite a few. Ah. <laughs> you see, they're growing up there. Yes, yes, yes. The, that tree is, is um, three years old now. Oh. So in the next two years, we should get fruit from them.
it's all organic here. Oh, so everything is organic. Everything is organic. I don't, I, I don't spray. I don't do fertilizer. I don't do. Oh. <laughs> yeah. oh okay. Because there's so much manure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. See all, yeah, I mean. all of this soil here. You see. Yeah. And and the ghost manure, uh, I even give it away. People come and say, can I have a few sacks? I said, okay, you would help yourself. But all of this stuff here, you see, I rake it up and then and, and then um, um, put them in, into the bed. So the, the vegetable is, is completely organic. Okay. Um, this all it's all it's all completely kind of um, get get cycle. Mm. And as in terms of food, see whatever we don't eat. From the kitchen, it go into the cats, oh, and then, yeah. then put them into the bucket, give them to the chicken, whatever it left over there, we clean it up, pour it out here, the goats come along and eat up everything. The skin of avocado, the seed yeah. of avocado, yeah. the goat eat all of that. Yeah. The banana skin, the, the chicken love it. This one can make the the, 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 the coffee, ah. but I'm not sure. I, I never used it. Sorry, I just want to have a look at one of the rooms, okay? Yes, yes, yeah. So the wall, the wall is all warming up, and at night, even at night, it's, it's still warm. Oh, okay. Well, our rooms are on the other side. Yes, yes, you have to suffer there. Oh, it's only for three months. The rest of the year is beautiful. <laughs> yeah, that's true. So if I want to come for a retreat, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I just pay $15 per day. That's right. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, if you, want, if you want to give more, you, 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 you be very happy. <laughs> but no, that's, that, that, that is suggested bread. And some people don't have the money, we say, come. Mm. It's, it, it's okay too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can also make, make sure that if any of your friends or any young man you come across and they, they said, yeah, I want to come to, to see, but I have no money. Mm. No problem, as long as they can get themselves here. Yeah. To, because we, we've got a very good, um, um, I mean, from Harare in, in particular, it's a, a good um, road. Yes, yes. And regular um, kind of public transport. And mm -hmm. we are picking people up from a check and bring them here. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So please make sure that you, 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 you put it in. Yeah, sure. So that um, people will not get discouraged by saying that, oh, I have no money. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's true. Oh, okay. So here is mainly just for, for breakfast, and then there are tea and um, spoon and thing, so that they can have their, their lunch here, oh. whatever it is. But then they, they cannot cook here. Oh, well, there's actually a, a toaster. Oh, is it? <laughs> so you can, you yeah, can, you can toast your bread yes. if you want. <laughs> in the history of the church, libraries in monasteries are very important, or were very important, because in places where the church was persecuted, these libraries kept a lot of history about the church. Very important to them because that's where they spend the, their time if they're not praying, having community life, or working. We know that there, there was men who were not able to read or write. Oh, okay, okay. But, but normally speaking in those days, um, to be a monk is actually to be a, a, a better educated person than, than most of the animals. Because, yes, yes, yeah. yes. Because, yeah, as you said, civilization actually was, was uh, brought to the people by the monks. So another activity in the monastery that we are going to join in is lunch. We fed the spirit, but we also need to feed the body. So we are going to join the community in lunch and see what has been prepared for us in there. Mm -hmm.